and welcome back to my channel. I hope you have had a great start of the new year. I certainly have and I can't believe it's 2017 uh, yet. It hasn't settled in my mind. I don't know. And I hope you have had a great 2016 as well. I certainly have. 2016 for me was the start year for me. I started my Instagram and I have started YouTube a little bit. Not so serious yet. Um, I get to work with the things I love which is photographing, filming, editing, makeup of course. So this year has been super turbulent but it has been amazing and I'm so grateful that I get to work with the things I love. So I am super excited for 2017 and I'm so proud and grateful for the things I achieved this past year. Uh, I have worked really hard and I have come to a place where I am very happy and that feels amazing. I have a very good starting point right now uh, with my career and my life in general so I'm super happy and I am, as I said before, super excited for 2017 and I hope you are as well. So now I'm gonna stop babbling uh, about all the years. So in today's video I'm gonna show you my favorites from 2016. It's not that many products I would say. When I'm looking over my table it don't look that much. Uh, like other youtubers I love these kind of videos and I love to watch them but they have so much products and now I feel like I don't have anything to show you but I'm gonna show you my top favorites from 2016 and if you want to see what that is just please keep on watching first off I'm gonna show you some skincare and then I'm gonna show you one hair product because I really don't use hair products that often. But the first thing is my favorite moisturizer and it is the Clinique Dramically... I cannot pronounce that word! Uh, it is the Clinique Different Moisturizing Gel and this is perfect for you who has oily skin like me. I love it and I have gone through like two or three of this bigger size. I love it and this is the only moisturizer that I use. Moving on to the next product and it is also a face product or at least I use it for the face and it is jojoba oil. I don't know how to say it in English. So this is an oil that I use on my pimples. It's really good for that actually. I didn't think you can use oil on pimples to get rid of them. But this thing really works. I noticed when I had it in my entire face that I broke out. Like on my clear skin I got some bumps and stuff. But on my pimples if I just take a little bit on my fingertip and apply it just on the pimple. The next day the pimple is much better. So I use this all the time when I get a pimple. Okay, so this is the only hair product that I have in this list. Because I am not so good of taking care of my hair. I don't care what products I use or <clears throat> anything like that. Uh, when it comes to my face and body, I, I do want good products. But on my hair I just don't care. And it's sad because I have very thick and long hair naturally, so I think I should take care of it more. And this is not a hair care product actually, but I don't never buy things for my hair. And this is a texturizing spray from the brand Batiste and you can buy it in Sweden. I don't know if you can buy it uh, anywhere else in the world. Uh, I think so. I don't think this is a Swedish brand. Uh, just google it. This brand makes the best dry shampoos in the world. I love this brand so much. And why I bought this texturizing spray is because my hair gets very shiny and it's falling flat during the day which I hate. And it's just so smooth and I don't feel like I can do anything with it. And I wanted more texture in it. So I bought this 
and it has been my favorite ever since. It's amazing and I use it almost every day, especially when I have uh, freshly washed hair. So I can really recommend the Batiste texturizing spray if you have very shiny and smooth hair like me and you want some texture in it. And that was the skincare hair products I wanted to show you. So now I am moving on to makeup. This product that I'm gonna show you now has been life changing for me. I have had a really tough time to find a favorite one but now I have and it's just amazing and it is the Maybelline Fits Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and this foundation is just... I love it so much. It's for normal to oily skin and since I'm oily it's the perfect foundation and I don't feel like I have found a foundation that fits my skin type. I just feel like I get very oily during the day. I don't felt like I had a foundation that worked for me and my skin. But when I tried this foundation, I just... It blowed my mind. It's so amazing. It's light to medium coverage, which I love because I don't like the full cover finish of foundations. So I prefer light to medium coverage and use concealer to cover pimples or redness. So this foundation I use every day. I love it and I don't need that much powder. So if you have oily skin and you have a hard time to find a good foundation for you that lasts all day, I can really recommend this foundation. It's just amazing and it's drugstores so it's even more amazing and yeah, I highly recommend this foundation. So the next favorite foundation I have had on the second place actually <laughs> is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and why I love this is because it has the most gorgeous finish ever. Uh, I love that it's not completely matte and it's not full cover. As I said, I don't like full cover foundations that much. I love the formula and this color is uh, 117 and it is the most perfect shade for my skin tone when I am fair because it has a yellow undertone to it which I have had a very hard time to find because I have a yellow undertone and every single light foundation is with a pink undertone, I feel like. So this is amazing. I love the formula, as I said. I love the finish of it and it's so easy to apply. It's so easy to work with and I have to buy a new one. Okay, if you have missed this product, I don't know which planet you have lived on because I feel like everyone have raved about this product and it is, of course, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have the light medium one and the light one when I'm fair. And this concealer is just... Oh, it's so life-changing, I promise you. This is the best concealer I have tried. I use this concealer to cover up redness and pimples. I also use it to highlight under my eye area. And I use this for everything. I love this concealer and this is almost empty. It's so sad. If you're looking for a full cover foundation that is not that thick and I don't know, it's... This is just perfect. Can you just try it? It's amazing. I don't know what to do without this concealer. <coughs> oh, my stomach. <coughs> what should I talk about next? So this product has been with me the entire year. I have used it so much, it is almost empty. Uh, and why I chose this over another product, you're gonna understand soon what I'm talking about, is because, I don't know, I love this product so much. And it is the Laura Mercier, it's not the translucent powder, it is the Invisible Loose Setting Powder and it is the white powder like the HD powder from Makeup from Makeup Forever. Uh, this is the one I bought first and then I bought the Laura Mercier translucent powder that everyone is raving about. So I had to try this as well 
And if you can see, the sizes is just... Why can't this one be as big as this one? I don't understand. So this powder is the one I got first. It's actually my first loose setting powder. Uh, and why I love it is because it's so fine. It's just melt into my skin like... I don't know. It's amazing. My under eye area is looking flawless when I am using this to set my concealer. The only thing is that it is the white powder so if you're taking photos with flash it will show on the picture. So I don't use this product when I know I'm gonna take photos with flash. It's so fine, it gets so smooth. Try to set your concealer with this using a fluffy brush. Not baking because I would say that's a bit intense with this white powder. But just try it, it's amazing. And when I do run out of it, I'm gonna buy a new one. So if I get to choose between the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and the Laura Mercier's Invisible Loose Setting Powder, I would go for this powder every day in the week. I am not a cream contour person. I don't see why it's necessary to make an extra step in your makeup routine. And I feel like it's very hard to blend. I feel like most of the cream contours are a bit dry for me and it's hard to blend and it don't look that natural uh, and i think it's so much easier to contour with powder products but since i got this one this is the maybelline master contour v shape duo stick contour and highlight such a long name since i got this i have cream contour almost every day because this one makes it so easy it's so creamy and it's super easy to blend this have two sides one contour side and one highlighting side and i always go for the contouring side because when i highlight i use my concealer uh, but the contour side is amazing and this is the number two and I also have a cooler tone which is number one and this is more light and more grayish contour shade but when I am tanned I'm using number two because it's such a great contour fairy thing to say <laughs> it's such a great contour color and this is super easy so I just do two lines on my cheeks and some in my forehead and then I blend it out with the beauty blender and it's so easy. If you want to try cream contour and find it difficult to find great products or to find not so expensive products, you should really try this. It's amazing and uh, I have used it since I got it. So this bronzer has been my favorite ever since I got it and I got it last year in October when I was in New York. It's such a great bronzer. I don't know why I haven't hit the pan yet because I use it so much, but a little goes a long way. So you don't need that much product. It's the best color. It's a hint of warmth, but not like crazy orange. And when I'm reaching for a bronzer I have to resist myself from grabbing this because otherwise I will choose this over all my other bronzers and I don't want to run out of it so this is the best bronzer of the year I just had to have the shade and light palette from Kat Von D in this video because this is my all-time favorite oh my gosh shut up it looks like this if you haven't seen it and this palette is amazing. It's super buttery. I would say it's so easy to blend, it's so easy to work with and it has the best shades. And I feel like this is a favorite for everyone who have tried it and if you not have tried it I really recommend to try it even if it's more high end. I think it's so worth the money. I bought it like the bronzer in New York last October and it has lasted me so long over a year and this is the contour kit I always reach for. It was so difficult to choose just one highlighter uh, that has been my favorite so I chose two and the first one is the Sleek Solstice highlighting palette that everyone has raved about this year <laughs> and it looks like this you have 
three powder highlighters and one cream highlighter. I never use the cream highlighter, uh, but the other ones are so pigmented, they are so shiny, they are so beautiful in the colors. I love the lavender one, I love the peach one, I love the yellow one when I am a bit paler. I just love this palette. It's a great highlighter palette. You can travel with this because you get four highlighters with you. It's so sleek and so beautiful. The packaging is amazing. And also it is drugstore. So if you want to try this, you really should. Okay, so I think this product that I'm going to show you now has been my all-time favorite from 2016. I think this is my number one of everything that I have tried. Everything that I own. This is my baby. This is... And I got it for my boyfriend as well and it, it makes it so special to me and I almost cried, no I don't, <laughs> but this is so special to me. Yeah, let me show you. So this is the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in the Afternoon Glow. It's the most gorgeous highlighter I have ever tried. I have it on me now and it is very subtle. I love this so much for everyday look, for party look, for when I am filming for, when I am photographing, I always use this highlighter. And as I said, since my boyfriend got it to me, it's so special to me. The Benefit Cab Brow is also a product that is pretty new in my collection and that I haven't tried for a longer time. But I have tried this for two months, I think, and since I got it, I have used it so much. And what I love about this is that this is super creamy and you get a brush with it and it's so easy to work with and sometimes I find it difficult to apply pomades on my cleaner parts or where I don't have much hair and where I don't have much hair the pomade just disappears. So this one sticks to my skin and I can draw as big brows as I want. This is a match made in heaven. I love the Benefit Cap Brow. Okay, so now we're moving on to eyes and I have two palettes that I wanna show you that has been my favorites from 2016. So the first palette that I have used like crazy this year is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. It's just amazing, it's phenomenal. I love the shimmer and super foiled shadows. They are so creamy, they are so buttery. And when you touch them and rub your finger into them, they almost feels wet. So they apply super pigmented on your eyelid. And the matte ones are such gorgeous shades. They are also very easy to blend and to work with. And these colors are just right up my alley. My name is written all over it. I love this palette. I don't know what to do when I hit pan on every shadow because I have used all of them. I use all of them very often. I love every single shade in this palette. And I think this palette is just perfect. Another palette that has been my favorite this year is of course the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And as you can see the shades are pretty similar to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. This palette is actually the one I like to travel with because I feel like I have every shadow that I need, every color that I need when I am going somewhere. I also have this palette on my eyes today. And I have Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, uh, Re Real Gar, Cypress Umber and Primavera on my eyes today. So it's such a great palette. I love this so much. If I run out of it or if it broke, I would definitely buy another one. I have had one favorite brand when it comes to lashes this year that I have used almost every single day and when I don't it's because I feel like I have to use some other brand on lashes but this brand is actually my all-time favorite when it comes to lashes and it is I think it's a Swedish brand uh, it's called Your Lashes they have the most amazing lashes 
I have ever seen. They are super, super pretty. And my favorite style is this style, which is called Area. And I have gotten like 10 of these because I use them all the time. They are so beautiful. And the quality is also amazing. It's super easy to remove the eyelash glue. Uh, it's super easy to reduce them. I have never thrown away one pair of lashes from your lashes. Today I'm wearing the style Jade. Moving on to lips and I have two products to show you. Both are nude. So typical me. It is a lipstick and it is a liquid lipstick and these two are my favorite shades and my favorite formula. So the first one is my top favorite of all the lip products that I have that I always go for that I am using on a regular basis. This is the Milani lipstick in matte naked. This is such a gorgeous shade. This is the most perfect nude ever. I have never found a better nude than this one. So if I want a nude lip, I always go for this one because this is always perfect. It fits every eye lip that I do. It fits every occasion. It fits everything. I love this so much. It's creamy because it's a lipstick. It's a matte lipstick, but it's more creamy than a liquid lipstick. So I love the formula more of lipsticks, but I have never found a nude lipstick. Like never. So this one has been my favorite since New York last October. I always have this in my handbag. I don't use it for photos that often because this is my everyday lipstick. I use it when I'm going shopping, when I'm meeting some friends, when I'm partying, when I have dinner with my family. Every single day I use this lipstick. It's amazing! I love it! Okay, so the liquid lipstick is also a nude one, as I said. And it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their liquid lipstick in the color Crush. And this one is also very very beautiful. It's more pink than the Milani lipstick, but I really love this. I like the formula really much. The only thing is that I feel like it's a bit thick. I have tried lighter liquid lipstick in the formula that I like more, but this is more full cover and the color is amazing. So this one I have used very much this year. So if you wanna try a liquid lipstick, I really recommend the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. They are super bomb and yeah, I love them. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is uh, makeup brushes that I have loved over this year. The first one is Morphe M5. Oh, oh, it's a tapered, fluffy blending brush, I would say, very big, it's very fluffy and it's not that dense. This brush I have used for contour the last months. I love this brush for contour and uh, it makes it so soft, it makes it so natural and you can really carve out your cheekbones with it. And since it's so fluffy, it's so easy to blend out your contour. So if you want a very natural and soft contour, I really recommend this brush. I love this. And when I want to carve out my cheekbones a bit more, I am using the Morphe M512 brush because this is so perfect to deepen your contour with. So what I used to do is that I pick up a contour shade with the brush and then I just press it under my cheekbones and it will really carve out the cheekbones and make them pop and deepen the shadow a bit more. So this brush I have really loved during the year and it's amazing. So when I want to set my concealer but I don't want to bake, I always use this brush and it is Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki brush. I use it to press powder onto my concealer to set it and I love to use this with the Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder. It's getting right in there under the eye and it's so soft. 
it's kind of dense and it's the perfect setting brush. Okay, since I got this brush, my nose contour game has changed forever. And this is the Morphe M333 brush. I think I have talked about it before, but this is the best nose contour brush I have ever tried and I have tried a lot. Believe me, this is so perfect because it's kind of thin in the middle and it's fluffier on the side. I don't know if I can... I am not that good at explaining things, but it's very thin on top. So it's like squeezed together up here and then it's shorter on the sides, which is fluffier. So I do two straight lines with the tip. And then I blend it out with sides because it's fluffier and have shorter hairs on the side. I think you understand what I mean. But this is actually the best nose contour brush I have tried. So if you want to start doing nose contouring, I can really, really recommend the Morphe M333 brush. And that was actually all of my favorites from 2016. I have never done a favorites video before, so it feels kind of strange to talk so much. And I don't quite know if I have shown you too many products or too few products, if my video is too long or too short. Since this is my first favorites video, this is a tryout to see what you, if you like it and if I like to do it. Now that I have sat here for like one hour, it feels amazing. It has been so fun to show you my top favorites from the past year. It was a struggle to get into the language because I haven't speak English in such a long time now. It was a while since I made a YouTube video, so I struggled a lot with the language, uh, if I should be honest with you, but it feels like it's, it's coming. <laughs> Please share your favorites from 2016 in the comments down below. If you want to see more favorite videos here on my channel, please give this video a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And then perhaps I can do monthly favorites, like every month. Uh, that would be super fun, I have thought about it for a while. Uh, but I want to know if you would like it. So please give this video a thumbs up if you want it and if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.